All right, guys. So today we are going to open up the box that I just received from Vic Off-Road. And that would be a set of Bunker Industries traction boards. Um, so let's see what we got here. Comes in a big box. All right. So first thing we got is another box. So now here, See, we got the bunker industry uh, recovery boards. I will say one thing that is pretty cool about these that I haven't seen on the others, it, that's the replaceable teeth. So that's the first thing that you'll notice. Well, it's probably the second thing that you'll notice, but it's one of the things that I really enjoy is it has the replaceable teeth. So I know on your uh, Max tracks, you bend them from let's say you spin the wheels those are not warranted by max tracks so you got to buy a whole new board with the bunker industries they have replaceable teeth so you can just buy new teeth the other thing you're going to notice that these have metal ends it's 304 stainless steel on the metal ends of these so let's take a look at one again Ooh. it's Here's our replaceable teeth. We've got red teeth, we've got black teeth. So, looks like a few different colors there. We got our, our leashes for when we bury them in the sand. They're easy to find, or the snow. They're a lot easier to find, easier to pull out. So we'll get that set up. We have the wrench to replace the teeth. All right. So this bag is a nice vinyl bag. It does feel almost waterproof. I'm not sure if it is or not. Definitely water resistant, but they're gonna get wet. They're gonna get dirty anyways. But let's see how they look. So there were three color options and I was, I'm hoping they sent me either red or black, not the orange. And we got the reds. These are, these are really nice. I'm really impressed with these so far. All right, so let's get these, let's get these pulled out. So right off the bat, guys, I can tell you right now, they seem beefier than, the, than your, your Max tracks or your others. Uh, they just seem a lot beefier. So, um, oh, they, they are super impressive. So, everything on them is stainless hardware. This is what I was talking about, guys. You have this stainless steel section here for really gripping that tire once you get it in there. And that's really gonna bite. It's got a lot of teeth in this stainless and it is i mean it's not sharp enough that it's going to cut your tires all up but you're definitely going to get a good grip followed by stainless hardware the back side this supposedly which is the base of a high lift jack will fit in there it has to give you some stability when you're trying to use that high lift jack so but they're about four inches three inches, excuse me, three inches um, in this direction. They are about three inches. Let's screw in some, uh, some feet and see how they, see how they screw in. So you can see they do have some, some really nice nut certs in them there. You just put those in once you find it. Oh, fail and you find the uh the threading it just goes in really quick like so all right first impressions 
out of the box. Super stoked. Very happy with these. Now, one thing I wish it came with, but I don't think they provide, um, you have to buy separate, which that's fine. I guess some of them you have to anyways, um, is a mounting kit. Uh, I mean, for me, we're going to have to mount them probably on the roof, which is fine. That's kind of what that roof rack is for. So that's where we're going to end up mounting it is on the roof. Probably foot them just as they are, kind of like this. You do have these areas right here where you can mount them. So we'll go, we'll get some bolts and some hardware. Um, they do have a mounting kit that I didn't know about. But I think what we can do is just get them bolts that fit in there in the top of my rack. And then from there, we'll be able to get that all mounted up. First impression of them though, beefy, stout, and awesome. So can't wait to give these a try here. Um, stay tuned. All right, so we got the uh, the traction boards for Bunker Industry here, and we're gonna test out the flexibility of them. I got them propped up on a log. We're roughly about 10 to 12 inches up. And so I'm gonna have Vern from Crawl Ender actually drive my Jeep, and he's gonna hit that board. And we're gonna see how much it flexes. Hopefully it doesn't break. It's awful cold today. It's like 30 degrees and uh there's snow on the ground and it's snowing now but hopefully it doesn't break i know these are typically from warmer weather areas so let's see how this plastic holds up so all right Vern, go ahead all right so you just hit it slowly slowly Keep going. Keep going. All right. Go ahead and back off. Break, but there's... Oh man, it definitely stressed underneath. Yeah. All right. So let's get this picked up here. You can see we got a couple of uh, stress marks on it here where it actually stressed it out and kind of stretched the plastic but all in all it didn't it, break. it didn't break so this is that's a good sign we've had uh, a couple that we tried out in the past that just broke in the cold all of the those didn't bend well there's there's plastic in behind them so I don't expect them to bend too much none of the little teeth broke that are replaceable which that was a concern of mine being that they are just 3d printed and i mean they're replaceable but none of them broke and uh so from now we're going to try and try and use it to actually climb this hill right back here so let me get that set up and uh we'll go from there actually Vern from crawlander actually has some max tracks there's jenny jenny so he's got some Max Tracks here. Actual brand Max Tracks? Yeah. Correct, actual Max Tracks. Okay, so he's got actual Max Tracks and we're gonna see how they hold up. I hope they don't break because I will feel really bad. <laughs> well, let's see, all right. You're missing. There you go, okay. Got a little more pressure on the one side than the outside. Once you get on top of the log. All right, go ahead and back off. All right. So first thing I noticed, it didn't flex nearly as much as the bunker industries. Good or bad, I'm not sure yet, but I know it didn't flex. Uh, Jenny's gonna help me out and she's gonna film me while we pick it up and see if there's any uh, stress marks. So those have never actually been used as a bridge, so any stress marks we see would be... From here? From here. And I'm going to be honest, I don't see any. I don't see any stress marks on them. None on the edge. 
color could make it could hide them a little bit maybe, maybe potentially mud definitely could <laughs> yeah his are definitely muddier um but i will tell you this the one thing i do know if you spin your tires on these mm -hmm. and you break them they are not they're not they won't warranty those i noticed there's a major size difference it seems like not as much as i was thinking but i think this one the bunker is wider definitely wider Brian, come here. It's definitely wider. The Bunker Industries is. It's a little bit longer too. It's a little bit longer. I like this. I really do. Um, I've had some people ask, oh, these can openers for your tires. Don't spin your tires. You, you shouldn't. You, you don't spin your tires and you're gonna be just fine. So I really like this idea. I think it gives you really good traction at the beginning, which is usually the hardest part to get onto the board is right in the beginning. So I like the ability to have those, um, which again, they are replaceable. It looks like they are bolted on. So it does. you probably can replace those as well. I'll get it set up and we'll put the Jeep in two wheel drive and see if we can use it to get up the, uh, the little embankment here and see how that works out. Let's do it. Okay. Okay. So you can see I got Vern. He's driving my Jeep right now. And uh, you can see we're in, he's in two-wheel drive, and he's just go ahead and go forward a little bit, and uh, it's not gonna. So it's just gonna work its way over. So stop right there. Okay, so it's just gonna work its way over and keep pushing over. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the board, and I'm gonna don't stay there, and I'm gonna put it in front of uh, the tire, and I'll probably do. Which tire should we do? Let's do the driver tire. It's the farthest one away. And let's, so we got that there. So it is gonna creep around a little bit. Uh, I'm actually gonna pull it, burn back up a little bit farther than I wanted. And now it is not stable. So we're gonna see what happens here too. See what kind of stress it gets under. Can we go a little bit farther? So it's lined up. Okay, can you go forward from there, Vern? Slowly does her. All right, so we hit the board. No problem so far. Just keep it from spinning. Okay, so the other tire's spinning at this point. So I'm gonna have him back up again, and we're gonna go try and put it under the other tire and see if that helps us out. All right, so here, well, that's a little more realistic of what we're gonna see. So I'm gonna get that set in there. And then from here, um, I'm gonna have him go forward again. So he should be able to grip that pretty good. And then this should go pretty good up on top. All right, Vern, go ahead and go forward a little bit. Now we have so much grip on this tire that the other one's not gonna move. I'm gonna get the other board. I'll be right back. All right, so we got the other one down. We're just going to put this under here just so that it's not spinning wheels at all. I'm more interested on the other side. So let's go back around to the other side. I want to see how it's going to bend, flex, whatever it may be. So, all right, Vern, go ahead. Let's see. Just walks right up at that, to that point. Good, Vern. So, as you can see, that's how you would use them, especially here in the cold. We don't have, typically our overland vehicles are also set up for a lot of rock crawling too. So, for us getting stuck, it's typically going to be in the snow, possibly the sand that we have. Uh, at some of our rock crawling areas, but other than that, I mean, I think so far they're absolutely great. They hold up from some of the tests that we've done. I mean, we've done a stress test on it and seen how far it would bend. And my favorite part is they're only $200. So they're $200 versus the 330 of a Max Tracks. 
So, and as of right now, every bit is good from what I can see. I've had no problems with the area that I thought I was gonna have problems, which would be the uh, twist in, um, the twist in tips here. So that's where I thought I was gonna have the issue and I've had no problem with those so far. Now we've only used them a few times, a couple of times here, but all in all, no problems with them. So I'm pretty happy. So I guess it's up to you. I mean, at this point, save $130, run the bunkers. That's what I'm gonna do. Thanks guys, have a good day. And don't forget guys, if you like this video, you found it helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. That'll help us get the word out.